Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Children of all ages. That was bad. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Children of all ages. That wasn't good either. It wasn't very clear. All right, I'm going to pick one of these problems. And when I pick one of these problems, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go over it using the standard algorithm. We're going to go over it using the lattice method. And we're going to go over it using the box method. Or the, yeah, they call it the box method. I'll show you. And we're going to check it with division. The same problem. Now, I did hear some, division, I hate division. That's wrong. You don't hate division. Perhaps you've not been taught it. See, the way sometimes you're taught division is just, this is how you do division. Instead of breaking it up and saying, division is simply multiplying by one-digit numbers and subtracting. Will you go sit down? What are you doing? Simply dividing or multiplying by one-digit numbers and then subtracting. You need to sit in your desk so you can watch me. Because you were the one saying, I like division. But if you watch me, you don't want to watch me? All right, so we have, let's do 32 times 29. Let's talk a little bit, give us an estimate, first of all. What is 32 close to? 30. 30. What is 29 close to? 30. So what would 30 times 30 be? 900. 900. Because, I mean, if we have... 30 times 30, we take these two zeros, put it at the bottom, 3 times 3 is 9. So we're looking for an answer somewhere near 900, in the general vicinity, in the neighborhood, on the same block. Same block. Same street. All right, so when we're multiplying by two-digit numbers, First of all, these are factors. Two numbers you multiply together are factors. For example, the factors of 6 are 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. Those are all the factors of 6. Those are the only things you multiply together to get 6. And I know some of the questions that you saw on the Think Through Math asked which are all the factors of a number. That's what you got to figure out. All the numbers that multiply together to equal that number. And you take your two factors to find a product. Now we've been doing this for about six and a half years so far. Most of you seem to be understanding it. If you don't, multiplication is just practice, practice, practice. If you need to use a multiplication chart, use a multiplication chart. But you have to practice, practice, practice. Or you're not going to get better, better, better. Better, better, better. Clara, 9 times 2 is what? 18. 18. We're starting here in our 1's place. That 9 is in our 1's place. We have 18 1's, which is the same as saying 110 and 8 1. Clara, 9 times 3 plus 1, 28. So we have multiplied 32 times 9 and gotten 288. Easy. Even if friendly doesn't think so. All right, we are done with our ones place. We're not going to use this carrying thing again. We may have to carry a new number, but we don't need that one up there. What, Cole? And don't forget your placeholder. Good. Since we are moving to the tens place, my first number has to be in the tens place. It does, Kelly. It really does. It has to be in the tens place. All right, so now we're multiplying two tens. So two times two is? Four. Four. Two times three is? Six. 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 We didn't carry anything. And now... 
we add. Now we add. Guess who I'm going to call on when we get to the division part of this? Guess who I'm going to call on? Charlie. Oh, you're right. All right, so if we add this together, 8 plus 0 is? 8. eight. Thank you for those of you that are awake. 8 plus 4 is? 12. 12. Put my, so I have 12 tens. Let's just say, same as saying, I have one 100 and eight and nine. Yes. Six plus two is eight plus one is nine. Yes. That's right there. So we got an answer of 928. I told you I'd show you two other ways to do this problem. Did we watch the lattice method video yesterday? Yes. Yes, okay. We're going to start with the lattice method. M many of you are, are proficient in the lattice method, know how to do it well. But for those of you that don't, let me show it again. Because there were a few of you that were like, I don't get it. So here's another way. Here's another way. Maya, you paying attention with me? Mm -hmm. All right, the lattice method, we have to have one, one column for each number in the first factor. We have to have one row, Tamara, you with me? Yes. One row for each number in the second factor. Good so far? Not too hard? You sure? Mm -hmm. All right. We have to divide these rectangles in half diagonally. And then it's simple as multiplying by one digit numbers. If you don't know your one digit numbers, use your multiplication chart and be practicing at home every day for 24 hours. I'm just saying. All right. It's just like a multiplication table where our 3 and our 2 meet is 3 times 2 is 6. So it's 0, 6. 2 times 2 meet right there, so it's 0, 4. 9 times 3 meet down here, which is 27. And 9 times 2 meet here, which is 18. And then it's simple a matter of, well, let's put our cups in. You don't have to do this part, but it keeps it a little bit more organized. Yes, ma'am. You love the lattice? Then we add up each diagonal. This diagonal only has an 8 in it, so this adds up to 8. This diagonal has a 7 plus a 1 plus a 4, which is 7 plus 1 plus 4? 12. 12. Put down the 2. I have to carry the 1 to my next diagonal. My next diagonal has a 1, a 6, a 2, which is 9. So that's 9. And there's nothing in this diagonal. So I get a 928. Okay, so 928 is close to our estimate. 928 is how I got it when I did it in um, standard form, the normal algorithm. 928 is how I, what I got when I did the. Kylie. 928 is what I got when I did the lattice method. Let's look at another. I think I got to erase. I don't think I'll have room. The other one they call the box method. It's kind of using expanded form, which I taught you expanded form. So it's, I don't know, they call it the box method. I don't know. Okay, so we're looking at our first factor. Our first factor is 32. What place value is the three in? Tens. Tens place. How much is the value of three tens? 
30. 30. Rowan, please stop. You're going to make me crazy. So I put a 30 at the top of there. The first factor is 32. What place value is the 2 in? The 1s. One. 1s. What's the value of 2 1s? 2. 2. So this is an expanded form. And this expanded 30 plus 2 is 32, the same as that first factor. Now we take our second factor, which is 29. What place value is the 2 in? 10. So what's 2 tens worth? 20. 20. What place value is the 9 in? 1. What's 9 ones worth? 9. nine. Realize how I set this up? We're good? We're good. You did it in fourth grade? Which year you, when you were in fourth grade? The first time you were or the second time you were? Uh, no, he didn't. <laughs> All right. All right. Matt. All right, we're looking at this first box. And much like a multiplication table, we go down and we go to the side, and that's where that box meets. 30 times 20. 600. Okay, it has a zero there, a zero there, so I just write my two zeros. Two times three is six. So 30 times 20 is 600. I used to, I think I used to do this strategy all the time at third grade. I'm not listening. Oh, no. Hayden? Two times 20. The 20 has a zero in it. So I'm going to put it there. Two times two is four. You can see, Kelly? All right. Nine times 30. 30 has a zero in it. I put that down. Nine times three is? Nine. Nine, nine. nine times three. Nine. Nine. Two hundred. What? Uh, Twenty-seven. 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 Nine times two is? Eight. 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 Now we add all of these numbers together. So I have 600 plus 270 plus 40 plus 18. And as long as you know how to add and you can keep your columns straight, you can keep your columns straight. So my ones place, I have 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8. 8. My tens column, I have seven plus four plus one equals twelve. Twelve. Carry my one. Nine. My hundreds column, I have six plus two plus one, which equals nine. nine. Okay. So now we get the same answer. All three ways we did it. You choose the way which is best for you. Box method. Okay, stop hanging. Last warning. Now, Kylie. Can you hear me? Sit up. Sit up. We are going to use division to check our answer. Let me show you how we use division to check our answer. Does that have to do with using division to check our answer? No. Okay, we'll go tinkle then. All right, Kylie, we take our product. You're not looking. Okay. We take our product, which is 928. That is our dividend. Our dividend. We're going to take one of our factors, either 32 or 29, to use as our divisor. Which one do you want to use, Kylie? 32. Okay, so now we have our dividend of 928, our divisor of 32. You with me so far? If I gave you this problem right now without helping you through it a bit, you wouldn't like it, would you? Okay, but watch. Watch closely. Watch very closely. Kylie, does 32 go into 9? No. 
I'm not going to have anything above the 9. Kylie, does 32 go into 92? Yes. I'm going to have a number above the 2 and a number above the 8. So far, pretty easy, Kylie? Okay. Now, I don't have to find what two-digit number in the first step. I need to find, Kylie, I need to find the one-digit number that I would multiply by 32 to get as close to 92 as I could without going over. Hand down. I know what it is, too. Kylie's helping me. So, Kylie, just take a guess. What would you multiply 32 by to get close to 92 without going over? All right, so we'll try two. So we take 32 and we multiply by two. Okay, so so far, Kylie, we figured out how many places our answer was, our quotient was going to have. Easy, correct? We figured out where our first digit's going to go. Correct? Easy. Now we're doing some guessing and checking. My number, I'm taking it into 92. That's the first place I'm taking it. So I have to just guess. You know, I use some logic, but it'll be a little guessing and checking. And I'm going to see how many times, what, what times 32 times 2 is. It's 4, and that's 64. So we multiplied by a one-digit number. You can do that, right? So far, we've figured out where our numbers go. One in the tens place, one in the ones place. We've made a hypothesis, an educated guess, to see how many times it would go in. And I multiplied by, you guessed two. So we're going to guess two. And we're going to put two up there and then subtract. Kylie, if I gave you the problem 92, Subtract 64, would that freak you out? No. Okay. Did 32 times 2 freak you out? No. Okay. So now we're going to subtract. Make that an 8, that a 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. And 8 minus 6 is 2. two. All right. So far, nothing freaky, is it? No. Nothing freaky. Now, is 28 okay? Yes. How would I know if it wasn't okay? Then you would have done it wrong. Okay, but how would I know I did it wrong? Um, Matt? Because it would be over 30. Good. If this is equal to or greater than our divisor, then this number needs to go up. So, Kylie. You understand if this number is equal to or greater than this number, then you need to make this one bigger, correct? All right. So we subtracted. We got 28. You had no problem subtracting, right? We bring down our 8. And now we have to figure out how many times 32 goes into 288. Now Hayden knows, but Hayden's going to be really quiet. And... Let's make an educated guess. How many times do you think 32 will go into 288, Kylie? Okay, let's try five. Okay, we'll try five. 32 times five is 10, 0, 15, 16. I get 160. Do you think I can get closer without going over? Okay, was this freaky? Okay, it wasn't freaky. So... We know it's bigger than five. What do you want to try? Seven? Good. Let's take 32 times seven. 14, carry the one, 21, 22. 224. Okay? Do you think we can get closer without going over? We don't know, do we? Okay, so let's, try, let's check. Let's put seven there. Let's put 224 here. We subtract. I get a four. I get a 64. So, will this work, Kylie? This is bigger than this, so it's not going to work, right? So, 7 cannot be my answer. It needs to be greater than 7. What would you like to try that's greater than 7? You got 8 or 9. You pick one. 
Nine. Okay, nine, good. 32 times nine. Now, what, what I like to do, just so you know, if I've got, if I'm, Kyla, Kylie, if I have a seven here, I don't want to do then eight and then nine. So if I jump up to nine, then, and that's too big, then I know it's eight, it's in between, I don't have to keep guessing. And C, 9 times 2 is 18. A, carry my 1. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 1 is 28. Is this going to work? Yes. So my answer here would be 9. It would be 288. I would subtract. I'd get 0. I know I'm right because this number, this factor, times this factor, they're right here, equal that quotient or equal that product, 928. So now, Kylie, you walked into the room and said, oh, I hate division, I'm not good at it, didn't you? Didn't you? And then you just did this problem, and you realized you have to multiply by one-digit numbers, and you have to be able to subtract. Both things you can do, correct? So division's not hard, is it? It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I promise you. Easy peasy, raw chicken bubble gum. It's lemon squeezy. I don't know what it is. You can't boss me. All right, now I'm going to do one problem, just the standard algorithm, and then we'll divide to check it so I can prove to those of you that weren't paying attention the first time that the division is very easy. Let's take 83 times 98. Stop whispering, especially if you're not any good at it. 8 times 3 is? Oh, that's 24. 24. I need to play my 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, the multiplication song. I know this song. It's helpful. Jaden. Save it for band. Okay, 8 times 8 is? 64. Plus 2? 66. 66. So 83 times 8 is 664. Move to the tens place. I'm done with that. Placeholder. Put my placeholder. Done with that carrying. 9 times 3 is? 27. 27. Carry my 2. 9 times 8? 72. 72 plus 2? 74. 74. We add 4 plus 0 is 4. 6 plus 7 is 13. Carry the 1. That's 11. Carry the 1. 8,134. Did I get that right? Yes. Okay. Who else walked in this room thinking I hate division? You are lying to me. Maya, help me out here. You are telling me a story. All right, this is what I'm going to do, Maya. I'm going to take my product. 8,134. That's my, my new dividend. I'm going to take one of these factors, either 83 or 98. Which one you want to take? 83. 83. That is my new divisor. Okay? And if I do my work right, if I did this right, and I do this part right, then my answer should be 98. Okay? So, Maya, does 83 go into 8? No. No. Does 83 go into 81? No. no. Kylie, you're with me? Does 83 go into 813? Yes. 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 I'm going to have a two-digit number, Maya. But I'm only having to find one digit at a time. Because I am taking... Let's make that a little bit darker. So I don't think that's a number. I am taking 83 into 813. How many times do you think 83 is going to go into 813? Maybe eight. Maybe eight. Let's try it. 83 times eight. Three times eight is? Eight times two. Oh, 24. 24. Two eight times eight is 64. 64. Plus two is? 64. Six. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you think we can get closer? Yes. Yeah. All right. So let's take 83 times nine. 27, 2, 72, 73, 74. 74. Think we can get closer? Yeah. 
No. no, because we can only do one digit at a time. If I made it any bigger, that would be 10, and I can't do that. It's got to be one digit at a time. So we know it's 9. Because I don't erase my work, I know 9 times 83 is 747. I subtract 13 minus 7 is 6. 80 minus 74 is 6. Bring down my 4. Okay? So far you're good with me, Maya, right? We multiplied by one-digit numbers, we subtracted, and we brought down. Okay? Now I need to figure out how many times 83 goes into 664. How many times do you think? Eight. Eight! Boom, shakalaka! Right there because we don't erase our work. We have it there. Too many times what I see is, oh, it didn't go to eight. Erase it, try nine. Oh, there's nine, then I gotta work eight out again. Just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. Okay, so my eight's there. 664, subtract zero, 98. There's nothing remaining. 98 is my other factor that I didn't use. So I did this problem correctly. But do you see? The whole point of this, do you see how easy division actually is? Yes. If you get it in your head that it's not difficult, you'll be fine. Too many of you come into my class and think that division, well, it's too hard for me to do. I can't do it. You're all freaked out, making me mad. Don't make me mad. Boom shakalaka. Peace out. Love you. Have a blessed day.